So, do you ever have one of those days where you just feel like you can't do anything until the one thing you've been waiting for happens? Because that's what happened today with this very package right here. So as you guys may or may not know, um, Laguna was leaked and the same eBay reseller happened to get her. And I bought one. I'm sorry, I couldn't wait. I knew that my video on her made a lot of money already, so I was easily ab able, able to pay for her. I don't wanna say what I paid, but let's just say it was way more than this doll was going to be worth. So don't be like me, just wait for her to come out because October is honestly not that far away, but I wanted to get a first look at her. So with that, let us start the review. Also, good evening, Wizzy Boys. Sorry for not saying that. So before we do anything else, let's take a quick look at Laguna's box. If you guys remember, the boxes now look very similar to Barbie Extra Packaging. We can see that Laguna was able to keep her pet Neptuna, though with an updated look. I guess he doesn't need water anymore. If Neptuna was ever a girl. What, what gender is Neptuna? Along the side of the box, we can see the little symbols that represent Laguna. They're very cute. And on the back of the box, we can see the doll's artwork as well as her bio. I kind of like Laguna's art, though one thing is that she has fangs here and different earrings as well as a different hoodie, which did not transfer to her final release at all. She also has blue ears and on the doll, they are pink. We have everyone else's artworks over here. And on the back of the box, we have her bio. She is a uh, splashtastic sea monster. Her monster must-haves are her shell phone and kelp crisps, dear god, the puns, and her pet is Neptuna, and she has her grippers out. All right, we have a bit of better lighting now. Sorry, I didn't realize that I didn't have my window open. So, right off the bat, I can see a small paint error, and I believe it's just from the fact that they had to paint her legs, but it's fine. I'm happy with it all, so... Let's get her out and throw her around a little because that's what I do with my dolls off camera. I shake them violently. By the way, this is the barcode. This is just the whole bottom of the box for fun. Yeah. Honestly, the unboxing here is pretty simple. It's just like cutting the ties around the ankles and stuff. Okay, I guess I have no depth perception because I don't know where anything is. I didn't mean to rip this out, but I guess I am. I'm keeping it now. Oh, this little thing's made of, like, plastic. Oh, that's cool. It's made of plastic. I'm gonna keep that, too. <laughs> I threw out Cleo's box, by the way. That's why I'm removing things to keep all of a sudden. All right, so fresh out of the box. This is Saran, 100%. There's no way that it's something like Polly because it just feels way too soft to be. Is her earring supposed to just be a ball like that? Before I do any actual review stuff, I want to see if she can stand on her own like um, Cleo can. So, try and get her on even ground and... Okay, so she's not really cooperating with me. Cleo had much flatter shoes than Laguna does. They have like a bit of a ridge to the bottom. So, I feel like it's possible, but it's not 100% guaranteed to work. Can we talk about how pretty her face is, by the way? She looks so much like a Generation 1 doll. I love it. Okay, so getting into actual review stuff now. When you turn her around, her hood is actually held down by her fanny pack. So if you want to free that, you have to slip it out of that. That's just a little fun thing. She has this cute little white shell necklace. She has one blue fishbone earring and one that is shaped like a ball. Her hair is multicolor. We've got purple and blue in the back part of her hair as well as in the front, and the main hair color is blonde. This is like some kind of sea urchin hair accessory. I thought it might be like a hair tie, like a scrunchie, but it's made of plastic, and these clips... Um, I guess they're supposed to be like pearls, maybe? I don't know. Um, if one thing is kind of wonky about her, I'd say it's her scales. The way they come down isn't like perfectly between her brows, so it just looks a little off but she's still cute. By the way, we can see her ears. One thing I really like that they did with Reboot Laguna is giving her these big fish ears. I think they're really cute. Mm. Oh, did I mention that I love her brown eyes? Like, they're so pretty now. So one fun thing about this Laguna is that she has a hood, 
which I've already shown you guys, but you can actually pull it over her head. And similar to the original Laguna, it has a scale print on it and these little ears, but this time they are made of a tie-dye material because Laguna is a much more colorful character this time around. Not to say she wasn't colorful before, but you know, it's pretty night and day. This doll is way more colorful than the original Laguna was. I've seen some people dislike the freckles, but personally, I think they're really cute. I don't know, I just really like this Laguna's face. I do think giving her the fangs that she has in the artwork would have added an extra like oomph that she needed, but overall the doll is super cute. So you don't have to take down the doll's ponytail or anything to put this on her, it just gives her a big like bump on the back of her head. But yeah, it also makes her neck look non-existent because these dolls do have shorter necks than the originals. But hey, she can still go side to side with her, um, cause she does still have the chest joint, they all do. God, I love that, the little bit of articulation there. It's just like, I love it, I love it so much. So of course, one of the biggest changes with Laguna other than her pink skin is that she no longer has webbed fingers. I do wish that they had kept it, but I guess I get why they didn't. They didn't really seem to want to make any other hand molds because all the ghouls have the same hands. They all have this hand mold except for Torlai and Claudine who share the same Claude hand mold. So, you know, I guess they didn't want to make a G3 version of Laguna's original hands, but whatever, fine. Her fanny pack is made of plastic and her shorts do not go all the way up. Um, it's not a swimsuit or anything. It's just a hoodie and shorts and there's nothing underneath this. So, while she does have like less pieces than the original Laguna, I still like her, you know? So some other things with Laguna are of course her shoes, as well as her legs in general. I really like this ombre effect, it's cool, it reminds me of Spectra. She also got new fins, which are still removable, they're made of hard plastic just like the originals were, and they don't want to come out. They are removable, they just don't want to come out. So, yeah. Overall, her shoes are cute, they're sporty, just like Laguna is supposed to be. Though there is a big gap in the paint on the back, I'm assuming for the articulation, because they assumed it would chip off anyway. So, you know, around the back she's kind of got those gaps, but I'm assuming it's normal. Overall, I think I got one with pretty good leg paint, I'm not seeing any major flaws, it's just that back section, which I'm assuming that they're all going to have that, so completely normal. With that, we've gone over just about every main aspect of the doll. Stay over there, it's not your time yet. We're gonna go over her accessories. Laguna honestly came with a ton of accessories, like between this bathing suit as her second outfit, her phone, which is a shell case. I dropped it because I'm holding so many other things. These are her, chelp, her kelp crisps. Why did I say chelp? <laughs> Those are her kelp crisps, which sound like something that would be on SpongeBob. This is her Hydro Flask water bottle, because she's a visco girl. She can't really hold this, though, unless you put her thumb through the top thing, I guess. And, of course, what did she say this was? She eaten goldfish? She eaten fish food? What is this? Oh my god, the original Neptuna is on there. Aw, a little wink and a nod towards the pet that she ate. Just kidding, she didn't eat Neptuna. Neptuna is right here. Neptuna actually looks pretty cute here, and I like that Neptuna is now able to stand on its own. Which, like, he could before, but now? I don't know. <laughs> Neptuna's always been able to stand, what am I talking about? But yeah, these are all the accessories that she comes with. She also comes with this adorable shell-shaped backpack, which has a bit of a spiderweb print going on. And I don't know if it opens or not. Oh wait, it does, there's a little thing here. So, this does open. Ow. I'm gonna break my nail doing this. What the hell? Owie. I'll do it off camera. It opens from the top. So this little thing over here, I guess, was a lie. I assume this was like a joint, but no, it just opens from the top. So you could just stick your thumb in there if you want. I put her kelp crispies and her goldfish in there for fun. So, yeah. I assume she can wear it, but... I'm not gonna bother in this video because I'm more focused on the actual doll. As for this, I've already seen photos of her wearing it and I just... it doesn't look good. It doesn't match with her color scheme at all. I don't understand why they made it these colors. I feel like this orange should have just been pink and the darker blue should have just been a lighter blue so it would actually match the new design they gave her. 
I think it would fit better on the original Laguna than this one, personally. And here is her phone that I was trying to show you guys the shell-shaped case of. It's pretty much the same print as her backpack, but there's a starfish down there now. Um, still kind of pixelated, which is to be expected. And it has like little icons that seem to be themed around Laguna, so that's nice. Okay, fine. We can begin the comparisons. Right after I put Laguna's sick ass shades on. <laughs> Please stay on your face. Oh, those are kind of cute actually. They don't add much, but they don't take much away either. I feel like they look better just resting on her head. Yeah, it's kind of cute. So here it is, the moment we've all been waiting for, G3 versus G1 Laguna. Though this time around, I do also have a G2 Laguna. So here we go, all three generations of Laguna. I know it's not basic Laguna, but Shriek Wrecked is all I have, so <laughs> you guys are just gonna have to accept that as our Laguna comparison for a bit. So one of the primary differences between these three is, of course, the skin color. I don't need to keep pointing that out. We know that she's pink. So another big difference, of course, is that the original Laguna never had scales textured around her wrists, but G2 and G3 Laguna both do. On G2, it's mostly just around the fin, and on G3, it's primarily on the forearm near the fin, but not just centered around it. Also, her fins are not blue or transparent in any way, they're just solid pink. G2 Laguna also had textured scales around her legs, but I do not see this with this Laguna as well as G1. So these two don't have it, but G2 did. I'm okay with that. I don't, I don't miss it or anything. All three Lagunas have been given different fins, so we can see that they're different in that regard as well. And of course, G2 Laguna has the most unique body of the two, because G2 was basically just a slightly stockier, thicker version of the G1 body, whereas G2, I mean G3, god these generations are getting confusing, but Generation 3 gained a chest join as well as a slightly fuller figure, because these dolls were twigs before. So, in comparison, she has more realistic proportions, though only body-wise, her head is still very large. Overall, these three dolls do share similarities, despite being different. They all still have fish ears, although hers are the largest and protrude off the sides of her head, whereas even in G2, they never did that. They still stayed molded onto the side. So, yeah, with that, let's get G2 out of here gonna gently place her right there. See, I'm nice to my dolls. I don't abuse them. So yeah, with these two. I'd say Laguna stayed about the closest to her original look. She kept this hood, for example. She kept a hoodie, jacket, sporty look. She still has a bathing suit. She just doesn't wear it on the regular. Like, yeah, you could put this under her outfit and be like, oh, they're dressed the same because they pretty much are pretty close otherwise. Like, this Laguna is permanently wearing a bathing suit. It's part of her outfit. It's under her jacket and under her swim shorts. One thing, though, is I believe this Laguna was supposed to have some... Yeah, she was supposed to have fishnets underneath her shorts. And she just didn't get those. It would have given her more of a resemblance to G1, because G1, of course, has that. And it would have just, you know, made them that much more similar. But I guess they cut it. No idea why. But personally, if... I'm able, I would like to add it, because I do feel like it would add an extra layer of spice, you know? Just an extra oomph that she needs. Just like the fangs, I would have loved if they gave her those, since they made a point of her having fangs in the movie. They both still wear sandals, they both still have a pink little fish named Neptuna, and pretty much they're similar. They both have a hair accessory, they both have earrings. You see how similar they are? Do you see it? <laughs> I'm mostly being sarcastic, but they do have similarities despite their differences. And I think that's one of the reasons Laguna happens to be one of my favorites of the G3 redesigns. She still feels familiar despite being so different, and overall, I like her. You guys can trust my opinion because this was not PR, I bought her myself. Why would I lie in a video of something that I bought myself? This doll wasn't cheap, I wouldn't have bought her if I didn't like her. So in short, I don't think there's anything else to go over. This doll is fabulous. I really like both versions of her, from the original to the new version. And with that, I definitely recommend Laguna once she's officially out. I don't recommend spending $80 on her like I did because that was an insane thing to do. But um, yeah, overall, 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you have any questions you would like answered about her, if you'd like me to see her, if you'd like to see me switch her into any outfits, let me know because I will be making a follow-up video tomorrow similar to the way I did with Cleo. And with that, thank you all so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!